today is uh, classic condition, really classic condition comes to my heart, really good for spring with some sort of ethnic and spicy flavours to it. This is going to be a monkfish, a seared monkfish with a yuri dal, carrots and sardines puree, sauce oriental and some quaver carrots and some pachar. Sounds really difficult, it's a lovely dish, looks great on the plate but eats really nice on the palate. And as quite a lot of Western people like a bit of spice and sort of ethnic flavours to our dishes, I feel this could sort of start us off with a nice sort of punchy dish ready for the spring. So, what we're going to start off is with the puree. Really simple. Okay, get a pan, nice and hot. Add a bit of uh, melted butter or clarified butter. Okay, so we'll put that to right on there. And then we have some carrots already chopped up. Add about 400, 500 grams of carrots. Okay, peel them and chop them. Okay, get the pan nice and warm. Also, we'll start the dal, the yuri dal. This one I'm actually making with uh, yellow split lentils. You can use green lentils if you wish, or black lentils. Uh, yellow split lentils I find are a little bit more less coarse and a little bit more uh, sweeter. What I've done with the lentils on this occasion is actually blanch them first, obviously for about 12 minutes, so it speeds the cooking. And again, a little bit of butter. Get that nice and warm. Also, you can get the sauce going at the same time. Sauce Oriental. This is basically a very rich sort of uh, vinegar, honey, uh, ginger, uh, garlic puree, uh, lots of spices and star anise, and it's reduced with a little bit of beef shoe. Now again, quite sticky, quite sweet, but also quite hot. Right, carrots. Pull them straight in. Okay, then we're just going to sweat them down, literally for about two or three minutes. A little bit of star anise in there as well. All I'm going to do is add some rehydrated vegetable stock. Nice and hot pan, swirl it around and then we'll simmer that for about 20 minutes, or 18, 20 minutes or maybe longer, depending on obviously your stove at home or how powerful it is. But what you want is the carrots to be nice and soft. When the carrots are nice and soft, we can drain the juice and then we can puree them. When we puree them, obviously then we can use that to stencil the plate and make the plate look really good for a dinner party. Next job, add a little bit of chopped shallots. Again, nice and hot. And then we'll add some uh, yellow lentils, about 200 grams. You don't want too much colour. Okay, you don't want too much colour at all, so we'll add a, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of things to be transparent. Give it a tomato puree. Time is good, cumin. So good, sort of uh, half a quarter teaspoon. Sauce. To be honest, the sauce is best 
you can actually eat the sauce the day after. But you can actually eat it, obviously, or make it the day before, leave it in the fridge and reheat any sort of ethnic or any sort of dough, any sort of curry. The spices are always best the next day. Into the caramel, we add a little bit of oil. Okay, that breaks down the caramel and the honey and the vinegar. Then, we are going to add some chilli. We add one chilli. Again, this dish has got a bit of kick to it. Okay, we bring this mustard and then stir that in. Okay, take it away from the stove. Just knock it in. Obviously, let the chilli, the mustard and the oil. And in a way, what we call the dry is like emulsifies. A little bit of cumin. Just a good pinch. A pinch of garam masala. A bit of ginger. Definitely hope when you're cooking this on the stove, you definitely start getting your own of all the spices. And you should let that infuse for one to two minutes. While that's infusing, you should add a little bit of coconut milk to the dal. And with that you get sort of a mellow flavour, not a harsh flavour. And with the mellow flavour, especially with fish, you have to be really careful with fish. Don't over season fish or over overpower it. So hopefully got this dish just right so where you can taste the fish and taste the spices as well. This is veal jus. This is the classic stuff all professional chefs use. At home, if you wish, you could make a, a, a strong stock by using the normal stock cubes, or again, or make your own gravy and add that to it. So I'm just going to add about 200 ml. It's quite set, so I'm just going to estimate it. But at home, you know, you can add it to taste. Okay, and just melt that in. And then we're just going to slightly reduce, not too much. Okay, so 18, 20 minutes now, comes the carrots, just test them, and they're nice and soft. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually puree the carrots. As we're blending, we just add a little bit of coconut milk as well. Okay, cook in the fish. Okay, you can buy mung fish from any good sort of fish merchants, fish munga, okay. Um, this is this is beautiful Cornish one fish. Okay, so what we're going to do I'm going to season it up first. And salt, some white pepper. Always season the fish with white pepper, not black pepper. Not black bits all over the fish. And then literally just a small smidgen of a little bit of curry powder over the top. Fish presentation side down first. Always. Get the paint nice and tight, make the sizzle. Re season the side that you haven't seasoned. Then let the pan cook the fish. Don't move the pan too often when you're cooking fish. When you move the pan, it transfers all the heat in the pan. All you get then is boiled fish, not sealed fish. And you leave that. This fish will take about four, four and a half, five minutes, about three minutes each side. Okay? So again, just cook it. Don't overcook fish. The consistency of the sauce now is near enough there. We'll taste it in a moment. And the dal, again with coconut milk, quite thick. We want the dal quite thick because obviously you want the fish to sit on the dal. When you eat the fish with the sauce and the dal and the puree, it'll all hopefully all sort of um, bring the flavours of the dish together. Turn the dish over. Now it's a nice bit of colour. And again, about three or four minutes. I'll take the fish out and let it rest for about five minutes. Carry on cooking. The sauce, I would say the sauce can be made of Darren's Mance if you wish. Put it to a jar, airtight jar, place it in the fridge, and it can last a good week easily. Now, this sauce as well, especially if you've got children, what a great sauce, get some pork chops, put the sauce over the pork chops, add to the marinade. Also, sauce oriental, excellent with chicken wings. Then roast them in a tray bake in the oven with some red onions and peppers. Really cheap meal, add some rice to it, really cheap snack. Great for the kids. Fish, nice and caramelised, now it's another sort of 30 seconds. When you're cooking fish, you know, you only get one chance to do it. Fish can grow up to 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 years in the sea. It takes two minutes to brew it. So you just touch the fish, just get a little bit of resistance. And that resistance then tells me. There's a little heat in the fish. So anyway, garnish I've got today, I mean, you can if, if you so wish, it's not in the recipe, but you can put some pak chai, this is an, an Asian leaf, okay, which we just cook down in the butter, and the juice of the fish, uh, some bacon carrots, and again I've got some garnish.
mention, uh, I think you saw, I think some supermarkets do say, this is my coke coriander, full of flavour. It really packs a punch. It's great with fish. So fish, as the pan. Enjoy.